Uh, being a parent of a child with autism is, is a huge struggle. Um, there's a lot of emotions and there's a lot of things. And so it's, it hasn't been easy. And um, she's been in every therapy that she could be until the last year or so. And at that point, they didn't feel like they could really help her anymore. And so then we were in the spot where um, we didn't know what else to do, but we knew that she needed help. And we have tried a lot of things. We've tried, uh, when she was smaller, we tried medications and that didn't, the side effects were horrific. They were awful. And uh, we, we pulled her off all those and we tried, uh, you know, like, no food dyes, no processed foods, which helped for a really long time. She's a teenager now, so, you know. I eat whatever I want. <laughs> it's really hard at, at this age to be able to do those things. So trying to find alternative treatments that would help her, um, but would not do the things that, you know, standard uh, prescription medications do was huge. And so I'm very happy that we made the decision to try hyperbaric because we have notice changes and... I thought it was going to take a while to notice changes. You know, I didn't think we would notice after, you know, a second treatment. But to start noticing um, the positive changes after the second, you know, the second treatment was uh, uh, a, a huge blessing. Before she started her treatments, she needed a lot of redirection. We had to repeat ourselves a lot to get things done. Um, when she didn't get her way, her mood swings were uh, very strong, I guess it would be a good word. <laughs> and since she's, start hyper, since she's started hyperbaric, um, so far, I can't remember what treatment we're on, but she's had um, the school Teachers have contacted me and told me that she's been a lot easier to redirect and that she's listening better. Um, at home, we've noticed, me and my husband have noticed that she is uh, listening more the first time and not needing as much redirection. Uh, the mood swings have uh, calmed down a little bit. They're not so uh, long, dramatic. I would say <laughs> and um, uh, yeah overall I think that we've seen really good improvements which have been great it's kind of fun um, I get to just sit and listen to music and text all my friends and I get out of school <laughs> When I first started, well, before I started hyperbarics, um, I was like very like angry and like I wouldn't listen to anything and like at school I would just like zone off and like just draw and stuff like that and I wouldn't like actually pay attention and then when I started it like the first or the second time I could start seeing a little bit of a difference and um, my teachers were saying wow. I could actually see you paying attention and I know I could call on you and stuff like that and you like had the answer and stuff like that. The care that we get from the Healing Sanctuary is um, amazing. All the staff's amazing. They've always been really helpful and very informative and they always ask a lot of questions which I really like. Uh, my experience with Dr. Baker, um, I love Dr. Baker. <laughs> when we first came here, I was looking for a functional medicine doctor because um, we moved from Seattle and I had a functional medicine doctor there. And so I was very lucky that we had one here in Idaho Falls. And um, I love that he uh, really listens and um, that's really important to me is that a doctor takes the time to really listen to what's going on. Um, and so my experience so far has been really great and I'm very thankful. 
Carly, my interaction with Carly has been amazing. She is uh, very, she's always wanting to help and she, she is very bubbly, which is always nice. And um, yeah, it's been nothing but amazing. Uh, my experience with Dr. Baker is always um, good I when guess. I see him. Um, he always like helps me with like what I need to. And then when I see Carly, she's always like uh, super sweet, super nice, uh, always energetic, and she just gives off like really good vibes. If you have a child with autism, you should really think about doing hyperbaric and. There are research studies out there that you can look at that ha that I myself have looked at, um, and it would be it's always a good option to look for something else that might possibly help. Thank you.